Tennessee Morning Broadcast. I'm Brimley. And I'm Ava. Here is Dr. Williams with the word of the day. Good morning there, family. Dr. Williams here with our word of the day. Our word of the day is acquisitive. Say it with me. Acquisitive. Now you say it. The word acquisitive is an adjective that describes someone or something that is characterized by a strong desire to own or acquire more things. Here is the word acquisitive in a sentence. The teachers aim to teach elementary students to balance their acquisitive instincts with a consideration of what will benefit them in their future education. Acquisitive. Students remember to be respectful, responsible, and resourceful. In the classroom, hallway, restroom, cafeteria, and on the bus. Nay plus ultra and beyond. Have a great day there, family. We are in full launch with the booster thine. Everyone, except me, was all blued out for the booster thon on yesterday. Have you registered and signed up? We want to boost for STEM. I don't see anything about having to save a planet from a quantum catastrophe. It's in the fine print. And you're sure this is the only possible way? Quite sure. You have to change the world in order to save it. Hey, <laughs> that sounded pretty good. <laughs> Polly, no offense, but this is bonkers. We're just a couple of kids. What do we know about changing the world? Yeah, honestly, I like the self-confidence to even raise my hand in class when I know the answer. Same. Same. I think you'll find you're capable of far more than you think. You just need a little coaching. Holly, who's going to teach us how to change the world? Who, indeed. <laughs> I could, of course. I have for years. But I have a better idea. Why not learn from those who've gone before you? You're saying that there's been kids that graduated the World Changer Workshop? Of course. <laughs> Where do you think they learned how to make a difference in the first place? Pay attention, you three. You're about to get a master class on how to change the world from real kid difference makers. Watch this. Now here is a story about a kid named Aiden and his harmonica. Aiden's like any of you watching, sometimes he gets bored. So one day to pass the time, he pulls out his harmonica and starts playing. Boy, he's something, ain't he? What happens next, though, changed the rest of his life. You see, Aiden was so good that people started tipping him. And to his surprise, at that moment, Aiden could have bought anything he wanted. Whoa. Even a signed baseball card from Babe Ruth. But Aiden wasn't like most kids. What he did next would go down in history as one of the greatest acts a kid can do. I'm going to give it away. You see, just a few days before, my mom told me about a group of kids who were sick and honestly needed this money more than me. I thought it was going to be hard to give it away, but when I found out these kids got better because of my money, it felt really good. From then on, Aiden's been wild about giving. Giving is really just finding a need. Ask yourself this, who needs help and what are you good at? And then connect the two. If you're good at sports, teach someone younger. If your parents need help clearing the dishes, carry the plates. If you can bake, sell cookies, and make a donation. People need help all around you, so find a need. Because I found a need, I'm making a difference, and you can too. Well, there you have it, folks. Find a need. Hey! Hey! Thank you, 
Dr. Williams. Today is Safer Internet Day. There are many ways we can stay safe while using the internet. Here are a few. We can be kind and respectful to others while online, and we can keep our personal information private. We can create positive ways to engage and collaborate online, and we can make sure to protect the online reputation of ourselves and others by thinking before we post. Here at Bear, we strive to be the best we can be while online. Are you following the safety rules? Let's go to Kalia for the lunch menu. Good morning, I'm Kalia. Today the lunch room is serving crispitos or chicken fajita tortillas. Sides include pinto beans, mecca cali corn, and fruit. Don't forget the milk, it doesn't matter. Uh. Now it's time for Today in History. On this day in 1971, Alan Shepard played golf on the moon during the Apollo 14 landing. During the live broadcast, Shepard showed off his golfing skills and hit two golf balls off the lunar surface. And now you know. Here's Khalil with the weather forecast. Today's forecast calls for sunny skies with a high of 64 and a low of 36. Sunrise is at 6.35 this morning and the sun will set at 5.22 this evening. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Kalia. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then pause for a moment of choir reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Soar like a comet, shine like a star. Blast off to the moon and beyond!